For a long time, I've been trying to find the perfect chair that fits my needs, whether it's for gaming, work, or just relaxing and trying to be productive. I've gone through several different chairs from cheap and inexpensive gaming chairs to my Pursuit Ergo chair from Uplift Desk. So when Downs reached out to me to review their gaming chair, I was in dice. For under $250, this might be the best bang for the buck gaming chair out there. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, my name is Wayne and welcome back to another video. Just to preface, I am sick right now, I do have COVID, so I'm kind of recovering, so my voice is not going to be the best as it usually sounds. Um, but for now, it's just how it is and I'm just going to have to live with it. Uh, but I do have a lot of time alone in this room, so yeah, isolation, you know what I mean? But yeah, let's go ahead and review this gaming chair and let's first talk about the unboxing and installation. So actually, fun fact, my girlfriend and my sister actually unboxed and installed the chair for me while I was doing another thing um, when they were around. I had them recorded with my camera and just did a little time lapse of them. And they told me it took around 30 minutes to install and they said they had no issues whatsoever. The instructions were very clear, but they also used the QR code that was found in the installation packet and it led them to a tutorial video that they had posted on their YouTube channel. It was a very easy install from watching the video and they had no problems installing the chair in under 30 minutes. Once installed, the chair looked very sleek and stylish. It just looks super comfortable, and it is. It's made out of this plush material inside with this really high quality PU leather, and it has yellow stitching to accompany the light gray color that comes with the chair. Though, on the website, it does come with different colorways. I personally like the white and beige one, but this was the color that I was sent, and it looks really, really good as just a gaming chair, and it kind of can blend as an office chair as well. Some notable features with this chair is that it's made of a higher quality PU leather, a leg rest, and also a USB powered back massager. Either than that, it comes with a standard back pad and a headrest that comes with a lot of gaming chairs, and it does go up and down and recline to almost 180 degree plane. From the two weeks I've used this Dowings chair, I've noticed a couple of things. The PU leather is actually pretty high quality and is very soft to the touch, but time will tell of how much it lasts and maybe it might tear in the future, but for now, it looks really good and I've had no issues with it. The seat does get a little bit warm when you are in long sessions of gaming or just sitting on it, um, but for the most part it's a very comfortable experience and it's very plush and it feels like memory foam when you sit down on it. I also found the leg rest to be really useful for me because I do chill out and just watch videos on my desk or just play games like TFT that's very relaxing and chill. It's really nice to just lay back and relax. I also found that the reclining feature might be a little bit hard to use at first, but when you break it in, it does smooth it out and it really is comfortable to go all the way back. It's kind of like a back stretcher. I've used this chair recently in a couple of streams and if you guys seen, I've been sitting on it for hours when doing those streams and I had no issues, didn't really complain. The only thing I really have issues with this chair is a couple of its little gimmicks. The chair has this USB massager and, and it doesn't really do anything. It's installed into the backrest and it just vibrates and kind of just like, it's just there. It doesn't really do much. Uh, it is nice if you do want that sensation, but I honestly don't turn it on. I just tie it in the back of the chair and keep it out of the way. The other thing is the headrest doesn't stay where I want it to be. So you might have to adjust the headrest a little bit to move it where you want it. This is typical gaming chair things where it just doesn't sit where it wants to be. And that also goes as well for the backrest. The backrest always slides back down over a certain amount of time if you want to move it up or down. But again, it just depends if you're okay with moving it up or down and adjusting it back to where it was. It doesn't really stay in place. Um, but it goes along with a lot of gaming chairs around this price bracket and if you want something that has that lumbar support that just stays in place you might want to go with more ergonomic gaming chair or an ergonomic chair in general the last thing i don't like about this gaming chair is the noise i've stated this before with my previous gaming chair before my ergo chair over there i had a gaming chair just like this a little bit cheaper but it really does squeak and make a lot of noise and this chair is no exception it's just how it's made and it's all the plastics and the leather um, it just makes a lot of squeaking noise and even for a brand new chair like this that i just got recently it has started making a lot of noises it's like a normal gaming chair it does make a lot of noise which you just gotta have to get used to but if you are using headphones like i don't think you'll have any issues but it is what it is. I'm just OCD about that. People might not care when you're playing games. I don't ever notice it, but when I'm not, I'm just chilling and just relaxing. Um, it does make a lot of noise. It does irritate me, uh, but that's not a deal breaker whatsoever. It's just something that you have to get used to. And I just wanted to say that for people who are interested about the noise that this chair makes. And overall, this chair is just a very comfortable chair to be in. Uh, for again, under $250, this chair might be the best bang for the buck budget chair. And would I recommend it? 
I think so. I think for people who are entering this gaming chair world, uh, this might be the best chair to get into, especially for chairs that are upwards of $300 that might be a little bit more out of people's price range. This chair is very sleek and it looks great in any office or desk space. They have different colorways on their website. I personally would go with the white one, but again, I got the gray and this still looks really, really good. I commend Dowlings for this amazing design on this chair and it just looks really, really good. And it doesn't scream gamer. It's not red or bright colors and RGB or whatever. It is just nice, neutral and minimal colors with a little bit of gamer in the stitching. So overall, this gaming chair is a very comfortable and relaxing chair to be in with its gaming chair quirks like the headrest and the backrest. It does have a little bit of gimmicks with the USB massager, but the leg rest is very nice and I've, I've used it a lot, so I really, really enjoy that. But overall, this chair is a great bang for the buck chair. If you guys are interested, links are down below. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.